Hello, everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Pro Plus Bots. Today, we will be reaching into the world of trading as we explore the capabilities of the Digit Hunter bot. Let's proceed to the bot trading platform. This platform serves as the foundation for executing bot trades. The first step is to upload the bot file by selecting the second black icon below the bot trading section. So from here I have added the Digit Hunter bot file. Once uploaded, you will notice slight changes in the marketplace. Today, I have set the market volatility to 10. However, if you prefer a volatility index of 100, you can modify the marketplace settings according to your preference. The trade type for this bot is, digit over slash under. Choosing the over trade type means you are predicting that the digit generated by the market will be higher than your prediction. For instance, if you set the prediction at 5 and the generated digit is 7, the condition is met, resulting in a winning trade. Conversely, by selecting the under trade type, you anticipate that the digit generated by the market will be lower than your prediction. In this scenario, if you set the prediction at 5 and the generated digit is 3, the trade will be deemed successful. The Digit Hunter bot aims to automate the process of identifying opportunities where a specific digit appears in a sequence of market generated numbers. By utilizing the over slash under trade type, you can specify whether you expect the digit to be higher or lower than your prediction. Consequently, the bot executes trades accordingly. Hence, the contract type for this bot is both. Now, let's discuss the significance of the stake. The stake represents the initial trade amount, and I recommend starting from 0.35. Take profit refers to the desired profit target. In this case, I have set it at 10. On the other hand, the stop loss indicates the acceptable maximum loss amount, which I have set at 500. In the Analyze LDP field, you can enter a digit from 0 to 9. The bot will wait for this last digit to appear before entering into a trade. Furthermore, in the Analyze Count field, you can specify a value of 1, 2, or 3. If you choose 1, the bot will wait for the Analyze LDP to appear once before entering a trade. If it's set to 2, the bot will wait for consecutive appearances of Analyze LDP twice before entering a trade. The waiting time to enter a trade is the duration the bot waits, in seconds, after receiving a signal to trade. The trading time ranges from 1 to 5. In the Expected Winning Trades field, you can enter the number of expected winnings. Once the specified count of expected winning trades is reached, the bot will wait for the specified duration in the Waiting Time to Restart After Expected Winning field before restarting. The Waiting Time to Next Trade field signifies the duration, in seconds, the bot waits after completing one trade before analyzing the next potential trade. Lastly, the trading start time indicates the specific time at which the bot will commence its operations. Here you can see how the bot is running on the trading platform making profits and losses.
As you can see in the final, out of 10 runs 9 become profit and 1 become loss. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you find success in your trading endeavors using bot automation.